So, hello and good day. My name is Sebastian, and you are watching The Novice Prospect. Welcome back to Space Engineers. This is episode 9, and, well, there's a few things we need to be doing today. We've got plenty of time, more than usual, and, yeah, so, let me look at the world. I have, in between episodes, I have actually gone and done a bit of work. Um, I've, I've, I've basically gone and got iron, nickel, and silica. And I think there's a bit of cobalt in between that, but I, I can't even be sure, to be honest. Um, anyways, we have plenty of resources. I have told Build and Repair to go and build our ship a bit more. And, well, if we remember from yesterday, I have really tried, and I tried hard, to get a solar panel into our ship. Well, it turns out that space engineers won't let me or Clang is not forgiving. It's just such a nightmare to try and find blocks that would hold back anything you push out. It, it seems not worth the effort. So I have gone and, of course we can't see anything because I'm an idiot. I've gone and changed it a little bit, and so my idea is we're going to use hinges. Um, hinges, yes, however, this is, was just an experiment, right? It's literally, I've just tried to see what would happen and how this would work. Um, but we're going to ignore those hinges and I'm going to take them down again. Because... So, let's see. Um, my idea is as follows. The hinge part comes off first, and then we're going to take the hinge off when we can. There we go. And then this block will go away. Okay, and I'm going to do the same on the other side. Get rid of the actual hinge part first. And then the hinge. And then that block right there. Hey, Tarsus, good morning. <laughs> uh, I have gone and, and fixed the things you mentioned on Discord. The VODs are uploaded, finally. It took long enough. Um, but yeah, so plans have changed a little bit. Um, going to do like so. Let's see. That seems about right. Also, I feel like we've taught build and repair or we've taught ourselves all the parts necessary, I will change build and repair to actually build up a bit more. And here we go again. Now my, why is my mouse not working at all now? Do we have X mouse button control open? Yes, I do. Um, so I, I have actually been really fighting with build vision. Uh, if we remember build vision is this thing where we can hold the control button and then we can spawn this menu and it actually turns out it's X mouse button control an extra app that I'm running that actually causes a lot of issues so that has I know what's causing the issue it's not been solved but I've just shut down XMBC and just work without it um, build and repair I would like you to also this is welding yes uh, functional blocks. We're going to enable those. Okay, because I feel those are the ones that would allow us to... Yes. Yeah, you go and build that up. Nice. Um, then on here, I would like... Where is it? Eight. And now hinges are a little bit peculiar when you place them, right? That's why I've took them down again. They have an orientation, and you try and make sure that... And I need to see that I'm aiming this right at that part. So, let me align it the way I would want it in that case, right? No. Come on. So, you see that little... Uh, well, I'm 
trying to see if I can show it properly. There is a little notch that is now pointing sort of away from us, right? That is the guy that's actually orienting us. And I would like to place it in that orientation. And I am, why not? There we go, that's the hinge, right? And now if we go to the other side, and this is the important part, right? We have already dug that little hole and I can say, hey, go and place my hinge in there. <clears throat> and then if we now go and, not the hinge, the piston. Now if I go and, where's top, where's bottom, where's front, where's, right, there we go. And we will try and place this hinge now. We want to make sure that we're still pointing that notch also to the front. Okay. And I'll tell you in a second why. Um, turn off the jetpack. Because <clears throat> the way we've done this now, right, is such that I can go into my control seat. And... Uh, this is not attached. That is nice. Okay. So... I can't remember. No, we started also. This is piston left. All right. Take away the number. This is the piston right. We're going to properly name them in a second. Um, and then we've got a hinge left. And hinge right. But most importantly, if we now say solar hinges, for example. Save that into a group. Take those two piston and say solar pistons. Right. Now the point is when we go and point at these hinges, I can now say that the low limit is going to be zero degrees and the upper limit is 90 degrees. And if we now go and Remove from toolbar just to make sure we have a group for those hinges. All right, and there's another thing I need to set in a second. That's important, but we're gonna reverse. That's that's the only action this hinge is going to do. But we also have a group of solar pistons that I would also say, please go and do the reverse thing. All right, back to those solar pistons. Um, point five seems fine. Very nice. Inertia tensors. We're going to do the same obviously on those hinges and we need to tell those hinges that they have a velocity. At the moment they will not move. Um, and I would like to say minus 0.5. Alright, and if we, and I'm trying to get a good camera angle here. Now if I was to say go and push those out, hope this is going to work. Yeah, it's going to come out. It's going to push those solar hinges out, right? Which would then allow me to go and activate that. Oh, is that the right? Yeah, that is the right way. Um, and obviously this is in a reverse order, right? But yeah, I would basically come out and then tell the hinges to unfold, right? And I think I'm going to up that speed a little, a little bit. I, I don't know. I, I need to see the solar panels attached to see it. But, you know, like so. Boom. Um, you know. Yeah. And pull it back in. And I may need to add another block there. Because if that pulls it in. No. We'll see. But, you yeah, know, that's, that's the whole idea, sort of, that I can do... Something like that. And then say, hey, go and push those out. And unfold them for me. And then you would basically see this whole solar array. Oh. Yeah, being unfolded away from the ship and, and you know, ready to receive power. I, I, I think I like that idea. Um... Now, the, the question is, can we place... Also, why? This doesn't seem finished for some reason. Let's go and finish it. Could be because it's a subgrid. 
Right, there we go. Finish that off. But so the question really is if I can attach the solar panel in such a way that <clears throat> it's not going to break on the ship. So in this case, what we're really looking for is let me see. That would do. Unable to place why. Why though? That that's now the question. Do we need an actual block to attach to? Could be. I have a feeling it might actually be exactly that. So let's go and attach a block there. And um, that just brings it out, right? And then attach a solar panel like so. Yeah, that's the back. That seems about right. And then we would do the same on this side. Um, um, yeah, like so. And then basically get another solar panel. Make sure we are... Mm, up a bit. Just so I can see if I'm... Yeah, actually, I forgot that axis, didn't I? So, so Tars is saying in chat that, uh, you know, what about adding a rotor to rotate the hinge? And yeah, actually, I have forgot two moving parts here. Just as he's <laughs> asking the question, because my idea is actually a little bit further. I would like to do something along the lines of, yeah, I think a rotor. Yeah. Uh, let me let me go and play here for a second. I get that way. Um, I'm gonna take that block away as well. Um, I'm trying to visualize, and I will help myself here a little bit. I just feel we have a bit more height than we would need, um, and so we can. I love that part. <laughs> I'll just bring the whole grid down. Oh wait, no, no, I can't do that. Uh, nine, come back up. So this is this is my fault here. Um, I, I wish there was something I could do on the hot bar to say, hey, please make this now a ship or a dynamo or, or a static grid. I wish there was a shortcut for this thing. So we're gonna invert it to ship right then we'll say we'll not be locked in please and we'll come back down yeah it's the only thing i wish i could do on something of a yeah hot bar button not changing from static grid to ship forth and back even if it was two buttons i wouldn't even actually care but Anyways, um, we're going to go and lock back into ground. And then hopefully I can just say, hey, convert this to a station. And those guys are firing back up. And yeah, and I can sort of visualize better what I'm actually looking at here. So we're coming out. Then we have the hinge come out this way. Right, and I'm just trying to find the right part now. Um, and then the next one would be for this rotor. I need to make sure we are attached. Yeah, to be able to rotate from so many subgrids. I hope this is going to work, but I need to also align the degrees. I would want no. No, um, and there's a page up. Yes, I want one that to be like this, so that 180 degrees is pointing to the back and zero degrees is pointing to the front. Right, and if we do the same on the other end, we know that the angles will be exactly the same to set up. And yeah, that seems fine. Boom. Nice. 
go and weld up this stuff for ourselves as much as we can. Yep, and that should be everything on this side. Um... Okay, now need to set that up in a group, and I'm wanting to do it right now just so I remember correctly how I done this. Uh, where is the... Is, is it advanced? I... Uh, one seems to be attached to the grid, the other not. And more to the point, it doesn't tell me which one's which, but which... This, that, that I can fix now that I know my build vision is working properly, yeah. Um, where's the rename there, advanced rotor? This is left, right, and then I can just go there, jump in. Hopefully we have those, yeah. Um, take that away, if you put the rotor on the piston. If you put the rotor on a piston and then a hitch. So, Tarsus, bear with me, I, I'm trying to do so, I'm trying to do a thing here. Okay, I, I sort of get what you mean. I want to take it a little step further, actually. So they are set up in a... No, no, they're not set up in a group, but they are now together. So I have... Oh, up, advanced. No. Solar rotors. Oh, that was F12. <laughs> um, now give me two seconds here. Groups. Um, there's those rotors. And we're going to do a reverse on those as well. Obviously, need to set it up. Um, we are currently at zero or three hundred and sixty, which is exactly the same. Um, and I would. I need to. Is it ninety degrees up? So the lower limit limit um, we're gonna set to zero, and the upper limit would be ninety degrees. I think the velocity was going to set 2.5 actually minus in this case just to make sure we're still in the same orientation okay now what happens if I hit 4 and that's the wrong way they are actually turning opposite ways Gosh, this is really not going the way I thought it was. Uh, it's fine. It's it's easily fixed. So I really thought I had done that right, to be honest. But okay, live and learn. Um, solar rotors. Actually, that's the left one we're looking at right now, right? And. The lower limit is still zero, but the upper limit is going to be minus 90. Is that the way to go? Oh, you can't do that. Okay. Uh... Okay, 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 okay. I, I give in. I, I... Wrong way. Like, my, my idea was... What I was hoping to do, right, is that I'm going to point these upwards in the next step. Then bring out a piston. I feel like I'm misconceptualizing something here. 
So this seems fine. We're coming out. We're folding away from the ship. Right, and then I want this hinge to go to 90 degrees. Oh, I'm an idiot. Thank you, Tarsus. <laughs> See, this is why it really helps to have people in chat. Um, I, I was... I was sort of misconceptualizing something here. The lower limit is the one that I can set a negative. So we can see that the lower limit in this case is now minus 90. And the upper limit, just to make sure that it's correctly set, is 90, uh, 0 degrees. Right, and then this guy is now, right now, in the process of turning up the way. That 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 is what I would imagine that to look like if we were folded up, right? And then for the other one, <clears throat> right, uh, so our rotors, now for the right one, I imagine that 0 and 90 is correct. Right, what we would imagine to see, and let me try and get a, get, get a good angle on this, so we can... Yeah. Yeah, the upper to zero. Yeah, thank you, Tarsus. Yeah, I got it immediately when when you mentioned it. It's like ah, wait. So if we now reverse this, they should both move in the same direction. And no, it is not. So that's the right one. That's now set incorrectly. Okay, fine. Uh, right, I said, right, and it's currently pointing at eighty, so ninety is down here, and zero is at the front. Zero being the upper limit, and ninety degrees being ah, wait, wait, ah. Right, so what if we tried to work from 270? Um, because they're certainly turning in the wrong direction currently. And it is the right hinge that I think if I said. Or do we need to reverse velocities here? That could actually be the thing here. So velocity is minus 0.5, and in this case it's also minus. So what if we said plus in that case? Right, let it do its thing. Oh shit. Excuse my language. I. I... That was a hinge. And it was the left hinge that I changed now. Please come back out. And it is the rotors I was talking about. This is minus. Also, please make sure we do this. Just about forgot about that. Um, so what if we said to plus or not by 0.5, right? Now you should be correcting into a better position. Yep. Yeah. And then I think if we now do the reverse, once it's settled, obviously, we should see a movement that goes in the right direction. I'm telling you, space engineers is fun. Honestly, I enjoy it, but it's frustrating at times. Right. And now if I hit the button, they should both, indeed, move in the same direction. So, um, just for everyone to understand is what Tarsus was saying is that one is going to be reversed. What is actually happening here is we want to move it in the same direction, and yeah, we're going to have to tell one of those rotors to actually be a negative velocity whereas the other one will be a positive velocity for them both to move in the same direction 
I'm sure there's something you can do in terms of building it at the point at that point when you when you actually build it up to make sure that doesn't happen. But I, I feel this is for me this is working already, right? Um in it in the position I am in, just trying yeah, this is the folded out position. Okay. Oh, going the wrong way. So this is the position now where the solar panel should actually be pointing up. Okay. So let's go and attach a block. Okay. Um and then I would want to And this may go terribly, terribly wrong. Okay. So I am well aware that I am tempting Clang something fierce here. Alright, but what I'm trying is seeing do and this either it's gonna look ugly or it's gonna clang or something is gonna happen I'm sure. Um yeah we'll build that up <clears throat> and let it come up and then essentially the next step is literally just attaching solar panels on that part. Yeah, like so. No, I'll be doing this at dance again. I'll take it like so. Uh, piston, yes, and then just try and attach a solar panel to that hinge uh, uh, part. That piston piston part. No. No, I feel like... No. No. Yes, no. me do we need like my, my question right now is do we need that panel at the bottom does it really 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 need to be there or can we do do not that not that not that that is that going to work we're gonna we're gonna try and see right, let's go and build this up as much as we can I'll get help out here. And, and everything in here seems like a bad idea. Like, even to me, it seems like a really bad idea. Um, this up. But I, I want to try it. Um. Give me part, please. What? What do you mean I can't? Uh, large tube. Oh yeah, you make them. Okay. Well, so Tarsus is saying about the orientation right now. Well, let me. Is our assembler running? Are we short on resources yet again? Oh, you are. You have got to be absolutely freaking. It. Excuse the language, you guys, but like, seriously. Okay, I need to do a quick um, thing. We run. But, so Tarsus, just to, yeah, Iron Run, I know, it's it's always a meme. So, to address your comment, Tarsus, I am hoping that, essentially, let me, there's more pistons now and I didn't name them, that would have probably helped solar, let's call this solar, ex solar up. Where is, where is my building repair? Uh -huh. 
I'll, I'll take even you. Uh, solar... Ah. Oh. Piston. Right? No, I didn't. No, I did. Okay. Um... And I actually frequently, frankly don't care whether they're left or right in this case because they're just going up. Um, and, oh, it's... Okay, we're going to have to do a quick thing here. I'm sure which should actually be not a problem, realistically. We can do a thing where we can say, hey, we're going to production, we're going to disassembly. Um... Okay, I need to go into the assembly and actually hand it part parts. Uh, give me all the other inventories and give me something that we've really got a lot of that I can sort of take apart again. Um, 2,000 plates there. Hmm. Metal grids, we can say we'll stick it in there, we'll stick them in there, right? And then disassembling off. Uh, <laughs> okay, so not a thing because uh, my inventory management is in uh, is interfering. Sorry. We'll do a quick run. Um, unlock, bring it back down. Also, turn back on the old rover. That would that would help. I know it's an ugly little thing, but it's actually served me really well. So I, I like it, right? It's my little ugly duckling. Um, oh, 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 oh. Need to make sure we turn on the gyros. Oh, that could have ended badly there. But yeah, it's not a long run. But we will it's it's a thing I have to do. And so Taris is what I was actually meaning with the solar panels or the alignment um in regards to your comment. At the moment they are already in the rotated position. So they should be pointing up. Right, every part I've built so far is already in its extended position right after I've built it. Ooh, stop there. Um, so it is actually when we retract it, it should fold back on it on itself. And I think this is the wrong bit. No, it's not. This is fine. I thought it was gold. You guys, all, all by the way, missed all this, right? But when I was on uh, resource runs, I've trashed the robot twice. Yes, I have. I've actually gone and trashed it, as usual, the back end, coming over a hill way too fast, not not thinking, and then wildly gyrating the mouse, and yeah, it, it, things were going wrong, so I had to rebuild it a few times, <laughs> but again, it's a, it's a thing, it's space engineers, and come on, if you're not destroying your rover or your ship every so often, then you're not doing space engineers right. <laughs> At least at a hundred hours. Uh, when you're a thousand hours in, that may be different. But hey, I'm, I'm still a noob here. Come on, I'm still learning all this stuff. So I'm hoping that two loads of this will just do me the now, right? But if I can get the concept laid out for the ship, <clears throat> and then we can get to maybe other things, like. I, I don't want to spend the whole stream just building a ship. Um, oh, that was a bit close. Yeah, but see, Tarsus, um, the, the solar panels right now, they're not in their final position. They're, they're coming back off again. Because I have a... There's another extension that's going to be right after the pistons. Um, I think what I would love to do is put them on another rotor and have that rotor actually be managed through Izzy's manage, uh, uh, solar script. So that when they come out, but not, they can then try and get the maximum. And it'll probably be a, a hinge solar combo. 
so that they can literally come up all the way. Well, stop. Uh, also, you can't just drive up. Resources don't magically we come into the inventory. You need to do the thing, Sebastian. Uh, camera. See, I, I like the fact that I've done this camera because I, I feel like I can. No, not like that. I can better align. There's me lying through my teeth. Yeah, see that? that that's not even anywhere near. Let's let's, let's try that again. That seems better. Oh, that way. There we go. Hopefully. That seems good. We're locked in and the base should literally just go and pull that out. Yeah, I can I can I can hear stuff being made. And there's the there's the tubes and like build and repair will just do the thing now. Right? But so let's see. Ah, Tarsus is caught on what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, so basically the next step here is we have that group set up, right? Have I? Um, no, I have not. And... Excuse me. Oh yeah, I've not. One of those is named, one's not. Up. Oh. Right. Um, so let's see here. Okay, we have the one by one piston. I am literally losing my mind. I'm sure I've named them both. All oh, right, that's what I've done. That's why I couldn't find it. That's YouTuber blindness, blindness by the way. Uh, that, that is an actual thing. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> uh, yeah, those two. They are... Sorry, that bugs me when I do that. So I need to fix it. Uh, so we're up. Right, save that. And then I can stick that as a group. Where is it? Solar up. Boom. And uh, do a reverse on that. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at this, look at this, look at this. I like this. Let's bring it off all the way. And I, I, I want to try and see and visualize if I'm high enough. I don't think I am. Like, it doesn't look right in in relation to the so uh, to the wind. Okay, but like to now reverse this, what we would do is we go and pull this in, right? And I, I may increase the speeds on this, right? And then the rotor would. Yes, yes. I mean, look at that. You know, that's exactly what I'm talking about. And like, I don't want to speed it up too much because I don't want it to be like moving at like 10 meters a second, unrealistic speeds and things look like they should fly apart. You know, it should look like something that is overcoming you know certain momentum and all that um and then the next step bring it in and i think i've done actually a step wrong here because I've, I've that hinge is yeah yeah, yeah. Well, what have i done there what why Oh, I've built it out wrong, haven't I? I've completely built this out wrong. I 
I haven't, I haven't, uh, I haven't accounted for, and this is actually an easy fix, I think, if I'm not getting this completely wrong. So we'll go and, go and chop this off. And I think all I need to do... Um, that piston needs to come off. Isn't it? Yeah, that piston needs to come off. That wall thing needs to come off. This can come off because so what I want to do where's that piston now? One two am I going to just why not? Oh because it needs welded up does it? I think what you need to do to, to place the next one is this guy needs to build up. I think that is what it is. Right, I should now be able to... Yeah. Boom. Well, this... Oh, not the piston. That. Um, coming out, coming out. And then... The solar just straight on top of it, not turned. And I may actually get away with putting it exactly like so. Right. And then make sure this is... That's the front, right? Yeah, so this is the left side. Nope. There's one by one piston up. Uh, L, U, so left up one. Right. No, that's L L U two actually. Sorry. And then we're just gonna go and of course I've done that thing again. Um I can then say you are L U one. Okay. Oh, yes, yes, I think. Just bear with me. I I know it's a bit of a mess, but I, I think this is the correct way now. And again, the solar panels aren't quite in their final position yet. Right. Chop that off, chop that off, don't need it. Then two, not five, piston. Piston that way. Build up that. Thank you. Oh. And then, no, on hot bar five again. Right, build up that guy. Yes, and then solar panel. Right. Uh, now I need to, I want to make sure that we're doing sort of the same thing there. I think that's actually the one I'm looking for. Okay. Let's see. I, I want to see it in, in, in all its glory. As much as I can. Ding, 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 ding. Looking good, looking good, looking good. This all looks, looks built up. Okay. So, more, more, you know, boring quick bar setup and all that. <clears throat> so, we... Sit down, please. We now have forgot to do the thing. Of course, we have. Ding. Um, where is your panel? It's right there. And you are right up one. Okay. And this is then accordingly right up two. Okay, which means I can now go and find those LUs and RUs. Um, I feel like I want them to move sort of more like in the wrong button, more like so, but in you know in in conjunction together, it's gonna still be 
hopefully makes sense. Um, G. Remove that, remove that, remove that. K. I know, groups. I've not done a group. That would have helped. L U R L U S and R U S. That's the one, right? Um, solar. And that's the solar hinges, that's the solar pistons, that's the solar rotors, and then solar up, save, which means we can now do the thing where I can grab that group, and I can grab that group and say reverse. <clears throat> And I'm sure I've done a mistake again. I need another... I need another hinge. <laughs> okay. Let's fold it all in and see what it looks like. Um, what happens if... No, that's that. That's a huge construction. Oh my goodness. I don't know if this is worth the effort like if this is even going to and it's going to crash whoa come back out whoa 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 i really didn't get that right okay no but this is fine let's come and bring you're coming out and you bring you out All right so yeah, I done, I done a I done a thing where I done a, another mistake because that that rotation is fine, but we're gonna have to undo it just now. Ah, this is fine. It's promising not a full stream of this, but it looks like we're gonna do some more of this because I would like this concept really working. Um, but I think it's because I haven't done a lot of this game, that's why the visualization is still, you know, wasn't difficulty for me, let's put it that way. So what I would need to do is a hinge. Alright, and then I will, okay, have both hinges pointing down the way. Just do that maybe. together right um hinge and then basically two pistons yeah one put that guy quickly firm oh just like so no why not Sebastian is an idiot. Yeah, just like so. Right. Um, yeah, come up and then extend. And finally, yeah, you, you would go exactly there. Uh, this is now again. What are you attached to? That's what I don't quite get. Okay, I think that is what we're wanting to point at. Um, yeah, like so. Right. So, oh. Chop, chop. I love fighting against built and repair. Take that one off, take that one off. Uh, take that one off and that one. Then a hinge. Right. Eight. And then I did say I was going to point it both downwards the way, like so. Right. Please forgive this noob. <laughs> um, and then, literally, just now, I can. No, that's not. 
like so. Build up the top of the car quickly. And the next one will be like so. Alright, just like that there. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum. And then last but not least, we can now attach this panel. I'm hoping if I've done this right, I can now... do this sort of thing. Put this together. Okay, that all looks good. Let's see. Oh, I think I've mucked that up. Oh no! That's fine. Good. Oops. So we need this guy. Um, call this solar. Did I call this hinge something specifically? Uh, just solar hinges, and then we'll just call it solar fold. This now. <clears throat> this is right up one. Are you one? The dish and you are. Are you two? Okay. Next. Whoa. Yeah, full acceleration. Uh, I forgot the name already. Uh, name, 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 hinge. Uh, my controls are all over the place at the moment. It's a me thing, by the way. It's not the controls of the game. Uh, Solar fold, I think I called this, right? In the wrong button. I'm really on, on a roll here, my goodness. And then this is LU1. And this is LU2. Okay. Let's see how that works. Is it down with teeth? Uh, control panel. Um, solar up. Save. Okay. Uh, share inertia tensors. Those pistons, that's the rotors they're already set up, I think. Um, solar fold. In solar fold. Um, and that's exactly what we'll call the whole group. Save, right? Um, Low element is zero and the full is whole thing is ninety degrees. Okay, let's see. Uh, remove that. All right, because the next step is in the groups. Solar hinges, solar fold, reverse, and then solar up reverse okay I'm, I'm oh no velocity set in the solar fold um, point one I'm hoping it's not going down the way yes 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 Sorry, it makes me excited when things work. Um, share notes, tense up it, please. And then, we'll just point 0.5. Up. 
Okay. Nice. Bring it up. Okay. And we can do this thing as well. And there we go, that's almost a full construct. Like, this is really what I was aiming for. Like, it looks it's sort of on the same height as the, the, the wind farm, you know, and... Now it just needs to turn towards the sun. Uh, this, this, this was hard work already, believe it or not. Because I would believe in that should... Yeah, bring that, and then four should turn the whole thing. Five should bring it in. And six. Um, just to get a bit of clearance, crud. But yeah, this is sort of what I was aiming for. I know it's awfully clangy because it's sort of getting stuck in the ground there with the solars, but... This is exactly what I was looking for. I mean, this is so nice and streamlined now. Right, let's actually go and do the thing quickly here. Let's just go and say convert your ship. Right, and, and you can be... Actually coming up. But, so imagine the ship's just landed, right? And we may not actually want to be static at that point. We, we, we may just say, well, this is this new wind on this planet anyway, so we're not going to care, right? So we've landed, um, we're fully extended on the landing gear, and we're going to lock in, right? And then really all we would do is just go through the sequence of, well, that, six, five, four, three, two. Like, the whole sequence should be able to just run. I mean, look at that. I love that. And I feel the speed is actually fine. Like, I don't think I would want much more in terms of speed. And there you go. It's all locked. Well, it's not locked into place, but you know, it's it's all up and running, and, and we would now receive energy in our battery. And I'm sure, actually, if we checked, um, right, we checked on one of those batteries. Yeah, they would be fully recharged. It's not ideal because we're not pointing towards the sun, but I like this already. Like this is. This is freaking awesome, like. Hey Buckley, uh, welcome to the chat. So, time map locks. Yes, actually, let's talk about them because, well, I'll be honest, I have never used them. And this may actually be exactly the opportunity to do so. Well, let's talk about them. Thanks for that suggestion, Buckley. Uh, always welcome. Um, Parsons can approve this. <laughs> I I really approve all or appreciate all comments. You know, any bit of help that I can get because I'm a noob and I'm trying to teach other people. And well, it's it's a journey that we can all join in together. Um, so yeah, time blocks. Let's see. We're just gonna go and I'm gonna do a bit of cleanup. The inventory is going to be a mess with all the components and then we're going a uh, can i build them yes i can thank you that would have been the next thing oh we need another block to unlock <laughs> um so we have the components let's go and grab one Boom. and yeah just what do you mean i need in did we have something else in the build planner Probably did too, by the looks of it. Construction components. 
That's interesting. Okay, you're still making them. Uh, build planner. Empty thyself. Of all of that. Now, please give me everything I need for. Yes, thank you. It's not that hard, is it? Oh, that's my fault. Uh, there we go. Oh, let's see. Let's let's see how this works. I, does it have a control panel? Oh, I just did. Have I misplaced this guy? I think I have actually. Okay. I think I've misplaced it to be honest. Um, and this is not the first time I've done this because programmable blocks like to do this too. Like they like to be pointed to the bottom, not the back. And I should be. Yeah, there's a there's a thing. So let's have a look. How how start stop setup actions. Okay. Hey, Buckley. Yes, I'm fully with you. I love this. So I can basically take groups and blocks and, and just line them up one after the other. And from what I understand here, they would just literally be uh, run one after the other. <laughs> oh, Tarsus, believe me, text pot sucks. <laughs> I actually have a shirt saying, you know, be nice to me. You may need tech support one day. <laughs> Done it for 20 plus years, uh, so I, I I feel your pain. <laughs> Sorry, just hydrating. Um, but okay, so I would like to, because I can, my brain's a bit like a sponge today, or like a sieve more, <laughs> and I can't remember what I've set up where. So I would like to quickly do a, a very old school thing. I'm going to take a piece of paper and a pen, if I can find one. I'm looking for a freaking pen or pencil. So it's solar hinges. Right, then what's next? After that, we're doing the pistons. Then the rotors. Then comes the soul of bold. And then four uh, solar up. Yeah. So, sorry, I, I just needed a little list for myself to. <laughs> I may regret to try and figure this out. This, this seems a little bit like an ominous foreshadowing, Buckley. Are you, are you doing this on purpose? <laughs> I mean, it's all good, man. It's all good. Don't you worry. Um, so, set up actions, and like, there's not much help here. Um, it, it doesn't exactly say, "Hey, do this, and then it'll work." So, we're going to try and see. Um, the first one is the solar hinge. Right, I'm just going to try and, okay, solar hinge is the first action, and that is a reverse, right? Then the solar pistons are the next action, which is a simple reverse too. Then we have solar rotors, which then will, yeah. Then we're going to do a solar fold. Uh, I, I may may have a problem here. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll actually just see, right? So that was the solar fold, and then last but not least, we have a solar up somewhere there, right? And going to a reverse. Is there something you can add delays here? Like is, is, is there a thing? 
it's just an increased delay but there's no yeah no i i can appreciate that Taurus is <laughs> Um, so Tarsus is basically saying for those that are not actually following the chat is he says that timers are fun when you get your hap a red a head wrapped around it. Um, but okay, so we have a timer block set up. Okay, we'll just see what happens. Give me a new quick bar group. Uh, no, not group blocks. I have a timer block, and I'm gonna just say trigger now. Right, that, that's literally all it's going to do is just run the, all those actions. Realistically. Actually, it's looking... Like, our use case is actually very simple. Because, essentially, we're just running a whole lot of blocks and they can all run at the same time. But, I mean, look at this. I like this. So yeah, Buckley is saying that he may be misre misremembering, but he thinks that it's one time a block per action. So basically, what I would like to think of when I when I look at these timer blocks, from my little understanding so far, is it's um, called a group of actions that you can trigger. Okay, um, but that group of actions will always be executed in that same order, right? Um, but you can certainly, as you've just seen, very simply take a whole load of actions and it's literally taken up half a quick bar and we can just put it all on the timer block and say, hey, you know, whenever we're landed and we're sort of locked in, we'll just go and run that action and it's literally going to activate or actuate all those different actions. And we, we, we could even set something on the type of block that changes, say, um, angles things that are like that but you know this is this for me is already a fun experience I'll be honest um, the only thing I would need to really figure out because it's bugging the living crap out of me I'll be honest is this guy it's info convert and both angular and linear velocity have to be zero Stations are more performance friendly because they're not getting recalculated every so many ticks, obviously. But that is something if I could have that on an action, that'd be that'd be really it. All right, but I, this I already like because I can do now this. We can go and say, dear quick bar, remove, remove. Not stays right but that's already sort of <clears throat> yeah buckley it really did i absolutely love the fact that you can, it was a very simple suggestion in this case as i say because the use case is very simple um and there's not many actions that we're really doing it's just all a block of bunch of blocks that are already set up the correct way um we're not needing to worry about different angles or you know setting up dynamically um but no, I, I like this. Um, we need to take this a little bit further though, because like two panels, <laughs> that's 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 not gonna fill this grid ever. Like what was it, two weeks? Yeah, we don't have that sort of time. Right, so we're fully extended, right? Um, where do I go from here? How do I now? Mm -hmm. And this is just more a thought for myself. I'm trying to let's say visualize and uh, think about how this is going to look when it's fully extended. Um, and I probably should have left one of the panels on. Oops. Oh well. Um, so we're fully held, <clears throat> and we would need, I would probably want a solid block here, okay, um, should go do something here, just bear with me, uh, yeah, yeah, you, you do that, 
What's that? Yeah, that that seems fine. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, it was gonna. It was bound to happen. <laughs> it was bound to happen. <laughs> uh, why is there no body location? Still up here. Uh, hello? Where? On? Oh, wait. I, I, yeah, I, I keep forgetting. We have built and repair. Built and repair has just gone and picked up my body. No questions asked. No. Why are you dead? No, oh, just pick it all up. It's all good. <laughs> uh, where am I? I have hide empties, please. Good grief. I keep forgetting to do that. Uh, one. Two, three, give me those, and then give me three bottles, please. Ah, oh, fuck it. I mean, so I'll grab a fourth. Uh, yeah, other than that, we're fine. It, was it just me, or did I just see stone? Uh, oh, fuck. Yeah, no, see, when you, when you go into, like, Automate, automated mining and that uh, time blocks do become a lot more complicated and you may actually find yourself in a position where you have to do multiples you know multiple timer blocks to sort of get it all running um, and sort of trigger them one after the other um, so the reason I've, I've just done this quickly is I, I want to go and visualize again as it's folded in <coughs> We're actually not caring so much about the folded out part anymore. Really don't. Um, because realistically, it's what happens now. How does it look at the back? What do we need to do to really make it look nice? And Okay. Okay, so there's the first one. Can't have them. Flame blocks, they're going to have to go. Oh, just a bit got squished there. And you two have to go. Yeah, I, I should have a clone counter, really, shouldn't I, Tarsus? <laughs> uh, I like that. <laughs> um, but, okay, so this is the full folded in thing, right? I already don't like it. I already don't like this at all. It's sticking out. I don't want it sticking out. So we're coming... No, I can't do that either. So we're going to have to come back out again. This is the thing when, when you build like disconnected grids and you do things like this. The minute you place a block here, right, if I was to place a block here and weld it up, it would actually connect to the rest of the grid, so we, we can't really do that, right? Um, but I think, I think we can get away with just building this quite, this guy quickly and just trigger, just come out. And then that way we have at least a reference point. That was to look the right way, yeah. So now we have a reference point in which direction we actually need to go with the solars. And I'm sure if I can go that way, I can also go that way. And then we know that it's essentially... Yeah. Um, yeah. Right. I need a slightly bigger base to attach our solar to, and it's for programmable. But I don't know actually how that would behave. Really? Oh, thanks, Tarsus. <laughs> um, no, I mean, I love built and repair. But you really, really need to be careful because you're not going to get any progress when things get built. Um, and, uh, like, there are certain build or parts that I'd rather not have a build because of resource usage. Um, and there's things like, oh, yeah, I keep forgetting about, oh, what happens to my body? Or, you know, 
um, I tell my base to drop gravel and <laughs> build and repair decides to pick up all the gravel because I forgot to tell it not to, right? And so all of that is a learning experience. It's not a mistake, it's a learning experience. So I love that. Um, but yeah, you can learn a lot from just watching me make mistakes all over the freaking, <laughs> all over the freaking place. But again, I, I love that part actually. Um, I'm trying to think what would happen if we just go and attach a was it an engine rotor I would need? You get like full solar alignment. Because we're up and then we need to be able to rotate. Yeah, that one. And then like so. And let's say 90 degrees is to the right, which yes, is, is the right way of thinking about that. Um, because zero degrees is then basically aiming forwards. Same there, right? That just turns it to wind to the sun. Do we really need a hinge is a question though. Um, and I'm sure I'm getting this wrong again, but um, I'm sure chat will keep me right if I do. But, uh, no, I think we need to hinge it. I, I think we definitely need to. So don't, don't do that. Don't give me all this back. And I'm going to do the forwards backwards hinge sort of thing. I can never remember where I've put stuff, so... Um, turn it that away, yes. And we're going to do and take all this off. And what did I say? Forwards facing... Uh, I think it was back here somewhere, yeah. Eight. And then... Nope, like so. Now remember that <clears throat> you can actually see it glowing up a little bit. That, that's sort of your orientation spot, right? Just if you're ever wondering how you can find out on the, on the piece. Every piece has something. Um, so my thing, Buckley, is that I'm hoping to actually use a script. Really? Steel tube? Well, I'm, I'm sure my base will make it sooner or later. Oh. <laughs> okay. Carefully. Let's go and heal ourselves a bit. So, uh, Buckley, uh, yeah, putting a hinge on top of the piston so that the port solar panels are laying down. Um, my point is there's got to be a script um, for solar alignment. And now, Tarsus, I have actually looked at the scriptless solar alignment. I still struggle with it. I will try and build it a few times for myself and actually get my head around it and do it maybe on the base. But so the point is, yeah, exactly. Thank you, for that, Um And I think it's because also because they're going to be disconnected. I think I'm better off using a script for that. But let's see. Where are, where art thou, <clears throat> dear rotor? Now, do we not have our torch on? No, oh, yeah, that would have helped. <laughs> Sorry, guys. No, like so, and then zero degrees. Sorry, guys, I'm an idiot. There is, there is zero degrees. That's what I want. All right, and then we're going doing the same here. Zero degrees, yes. Get this up. Oh, let me guess. Let, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna have a wild guess, but yes, I know. Iron. <laughs> ah, yes, it's gotta be one of those. We're gonna have to do a few more runs. 
uh, hinge, then rotor. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So solar script works with the panels, yeah. Um, and we're gonna have to do a thing where I think I've renamed, or I've named everything I've named so far really badly. Um, but what I would probably do is just change it in the script to say we're not looking for solar, but we're looking for, say, true solar rotor and... Um, but, right now, we're going to have to do this thing. So, hey ho, hey ho, it's off to work I go. <laughs> it almost hurts, it's almost. I caught it this time. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna have a counter up for next time, I promise. It's gonna be on stream, there's gonna be a thing. A little overlay or something. <laughs> uh, clone counter, yeah, I like that. That's a good idea. Okay, now, carefuling. Uh, oh, light would help. I know there's also big holes in the ground here, so I'm trying to sort of inch my way forward. Right. Well, uh, here we go again. Now, remember Tarsus, how you said about making a landmark for finding my diggy holes? Yeah, I still didn't do that. <laughs> Turn those on, please. Also, uh, no, not built and repair, actually. Uh, there, that guy. Now, you should tell me cobalt, gold. No, I'm, I'm not. Iron. Iron, there. Iron hole. Oh, for goodness sakes. I'm really out to kill myself today again, I think. Uh. But I, I would like to just take this time while we're staring into blinding sparks. I would like to take this opportunity to really thank my viewers here. Because I have reached 3000 plus views. I mean, that's amazing. Like for something that's for me just a hobby, I absolutely love that. And I really appreciate every single one of you. I appreciate the guys that come onto stream and, you know, leave comments and, and help me with building stuff. I appreciate the guys that just lurk um, and add to my views. Uh, I like the ones that even leave me comments on Twitter. It's all good. I'll, I love every single bit of it. But yeah, it's it's well appreciated. I sort of went on my YouTube this morning in my studio. And I'm like, whoa, really? That many? Oh, that's it's it's humbling. You know that so many of you have actually chosen to watch this. <laughs> I would say probably quite crappy content. <laughs> like compared to others. Um, but no, it's it's humbling, and I, I love it. So thanks. Thanks for that. Um, and I'm sure it's just an iron thing, so we might as well just grab another one. Hey, okay, just fill myself up. There we go. It's interesting, by the way, so I was looking through my views and my statistics, or as Google likes to call it, the an analytics, right? 75% um, of you guys aren't even subscribed. Um, so it's interesting. And it, it's not actually having a go at any of my views. Quite the opposite. I get that. Like, I, I watch a lot of videos that I don't necessarily subscribe to. But I, I did not realize, I think for myself, that that was the amount of people that normally watch content as opposed to subscribers. I think it's just a weird number to sort of see, you know, when you consider, okay, there's been thousands of views, but it's only a quarter of them have actually, uh, are actually your subscribers, you know. But again, I I'm actually in this not because of views, I'm not in here for the subs, I'm actually in this because I feel very strongly and very passionate about teaching and passing knowledge on, you know, if you don't share your knowledge, it's it's lost knowledge. And this is one of the things that I love doing here is I find out something 
I probably threw my own mistake and stupidity, but hey, I like to share that. You know, it's something that if someone else is a lesson that it's it's a lesson that someone else maybe doesn't have to learn the hard way. You know, which is why I also do videos like um Factorial server, things like that, you know, just because I feel like, oh, I've, I've learned a lot in that pro process, so let me share in that journey. Oh, why, what, what the heck was I even looking at? Why was I looking at that green circle and not my actual connector? Because I was distracted. So, yeah, thanks, Buckley. It's, ow, I knew it. Can do it. <laughs> Thank you, dear. <laughs> oh, this is. There's nothing new here, guys. Nothing to see here. This is just me doing my usual. <laughs> uh, six. Uh, dear connector, please be <laughs> back here. What do you mean I need steel plate and I don't have any? Are you kidding me? Did I really take away all my steel plate? Just give me some, please. Yeah, it's not the first time I've done this. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I get nothing new there. <laughs> Two. Loose the handbrake and come back carefully. Slowly. There we go, that's better. Yeah, of course my quick bar is not set up right now because it's a new connector. Connector 2, I'll try something like connector 6, 7. Why are you kidding? Like, I have lost a lot of connectors of this rover. Um, there we go, uh, there's more iron being processed and we can keep going with this guy, right? Um, well, apparently it doesn't build this part for some reason. I don't know why, but could be another built and repair thing. So there's still a few options we haven't enabled on built and repair. Let's quickly go through that. Uh, where is it? Uh, it's this guy actually. So if you're looking for your own grid, always look for the white text, obviously. Um, is this considered a production block? Huh. I don't know. But it's just not getting built, which, okay, fair enough. <clears throat> it doesn't really bother me. I'm. I'm I'm not opposed to just grabbing, grabbing. Oh, oh! It's a it's a resource thing. <laughs> yes, Tarsus, that's correct. Especially one of my streams. <laughs> um. Hey, you know what? I think you know while built and repair and my base is doing things, I feel like we're going to do a worship decline. And yeah, I know it's a cheat, uh, but I've seen this on the workshop and I just, I feel like a worship. Okay, so we're going to... No, that's not mine. I just... Oh, typing correctly would help. Let's summon our dear friend. Our dear and precious friend, Clang. Hail Clang! All Hail Clang right now! Yeah. Oh shit. Did I just... <laughs> uh, okay, that, that, that is a big freaking hole. Shoot. I had no... <laughs> Um, can we just remark on the fact, <laughs> can we just, I mean, 
really can we just remark on the fact that this <laughs> 44 blocks and yeah it's 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 a scary thing holy moly yeah and build repair a little bit because it's now taking all this part stuff apart and it's it's got resources for me and i know we don't actually deserve them but i felt a sacrifice was necessary um. <laughs> oh. Sorry guys, that, is, that is literally just made my day. <laughs> Please tell me I've not destroyed anything here. No, this, this all looks good. Uh, have we built up everything here so far? <laughs> Yeah, Buckley, I, I think I may, I may just summon Clang a little bit further away. <laughs> uh, but come on, if, if it's not scary, it's not Clang. <laughs> I mean, holy freaking Clang, that was... <laughs> and, you know, here, here, this is something I've remarked on before you do so underestimate how large large shit actually gets i mean it's it's absolutely insane when when i thought i built that small rover oh that's quite big you know that's that's, that's quite a lot of blocks and then you built something larger and you're like no it's not no it, it really is not it, it, it's tiny it, it's a pebble <laughs> um anyways i would like to are we locked into the ground? Um, so I think I'm going to just make this static again. Hope I can. Yes. Um, and it's basically just to get the wind power going again and do its thing. Um, holy... <laughs> I can't believe that hole. <laughs> Um, anyways, I think I like so far what we've done to the ship. Now, Tarsus knows this, and, and, and the previous viewers know this. Um, I have a plan for the ship where I want a projector aboard, but what I want in, the, in this projector, that's, that's really the big guy. This, this is what it's really coming down to. I would like to have something spawn out of the 900 meters. I, I, I'm not just gonna go grab it. Oh, it's not even landed yet. No, okay, fine. I, I'll, I'll land myself and, and wait for it. Um, so the, the point of that base is that I want to be able to project something to, say, the front, um, that allows us to spawn a base with maybe some mining even attached straight up and have built and repair essentially build it for us okay and as i say I, 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 just because it was that close i decided to just go and grab it hey a rainbow suit great i don't care got just need all the resources uh wait oh this is a big container whoa 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 okay, we have an enhanced grind and, and some credit but I'll, i'm not complaining Power should have just never got anything in it. Take that apart. Take the medium cargo container apart. I love that, by the way. And there's a battery, and then just more blocks. Just the usual. Here we go. Take this apart. Um, base. There we go. Try and not kill myself in the process, that would help. Um, and then let's go and deposit out and um, deposit what we have. Boom, go away. Um, so, um, I'm not sure if I want to go and plan that blueprint the now or if that's going to be in the next stream. Not entirely sure. Um, I, I, I. 
I'm sort of stuck at the moment with the building because it's dark and I, I don't want to be doing too much of the building without you guys actually being able to see what I'm doing. We could, you know, there's another thing we can do. There's many things we have to do around the base, so, you know, we have, we have this guy. You know, we could, surely, um, let me go and pull up my GPS. SSSS. There is one that I'm going to get rid of because that tunnel exit is not going to be up there anymore. It was sort of just to show you guys. It was sort of planned for maybe here, but then you know the the mine has done its thing and then dug this little guy and we're here. And I would like to have something. This this is going to be a launch platform. Not Tarsus knows this, but you know, this is going to be a sort of launch platform for something. Um, and we're probably going to have to make it bigger to fit our grid into it, but we'll worry about that after. Um, but I would like this launch pit to be able to connect to our other base. And so I think I'm going to set the GPS right here. And let it come up sort of right here. GPS slash GPS. Uh, tunnel exit. Okay, because we do have another whole complex of dog. Find it. Oh, ice lake, ice lake, ice lake, ice lake, ice lake. Oh yeah, I, f I forgot about that Tarsus. I, I, I do apologize. Um, well, that's gotta be for the next base, isn't it? Um. But so what I was thinking because we have a have dug a while and I've created this space and then I've gone and yeah went a little bit further up here but saying that I mean it's it's a lot of voxels that I've manipulated and it sort of hurts to have to leave it behind but hmm hmm Okay. Okay, I've made up my mind. We're gonna ignore all that. Um we're gonna rename our space to starter base. And we're going to leave all the manipulated voxels behind that we've created here. And as soon as we can launch that guy, we are building an actual base. And that's going to be yes, Tarsus near an ice lake. Um and that's where we're actually going to basically maybe build something out of the ground. But that's for another new stream stuff. That's, 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 a, this is all long-term projects, you know, make no mistakes. <laughs> Nothing in Space Engineers is ever quick. You, you don't just have a quick game of Space Engineers. And no, you do not. Um, let me go and quickly, quickly change items or check items here. Um, <clears throat> Check this off a month. Counts and maybe update a few of the numbers so I feel we're gonna need more of. Uh, well, this place should be fine. Murders, we're gonna just double that. Um, same with the interior plate. Because I, I know that the build that we're doing is quite hungry so we might as well sort of prep for that. Uh, steel plate is fine. Superconductor seems fine. I don't see a need to ch change that. And then there's those two wells. They can just go and get stuffed. Um, okay, sort it. We're building more here. Um, now I have that combo and we're gonna go and rename that's the left, right? So, yeah, open chat, hinge, true, solar, left, hinge, no, left, I don't need to call it hinge because it's already called hinge. Oh yeah, I'm always looking forward to any updates, <laughs> um, but absolutely, AI updates, that's going to be a big one. Um, I am literally a stream maybe to a way to add assertive into our save game 
but I think this whole AI, AI update that's going to be a big one that's, that's going to be a game changer um, so there's that and then name it advanced rotor true solar left okay And then we're gonna go and do the same here. There's a name that we need to change. Um, true solar right. There we go with that. Oh, wrong button. Pardon me. And then change that to true solar right. And in with that. Here we go, right? Um, let's see. True solar left as those two hinges, and then as hinges, then rotors. Where are they? Is it advanced rotors I'm looking for? Yeah, there's those two. Nice. Uh, true solar. Now the rotors are for the azimuth. um right if i understand the words right that's for the azimuth uh where it is the hinge is for the solar elevation then right next um now since we've sort of started back here with the let's call it interactive section of the ship you know the things that keep us going I think I've got to put a programmable block right there. Okay. I can find the block. Yeah, just like. Or even just there, actually. Yeah. Just like so. Boom. Oh, Sebastian is an idiot. Excuse me, guys. That was not deserved. And. All of it needs to go away. That's why I'm just jumping over here. And I'm just going to drop all this. Because it's not rightfully owned. Or earned. I forgot to disable. We're creative tools. Pardon me guys. That, that, was, that was my bad. And all we've done is rename. So that's fine. No other resources I got from this. Is there? Chat, did I create any items that weren't rightfully mine? Except for Clang. <laughs> um, but I, I don't think I did. Yeah, so we, we should be fine. Um, sure, chat will tell me if that is not the case. Let's go and grab the resources. Please? Yes. There we go. What do you mean? I don't know what I've done, but it wasn't the right thing. So, back down there, yes, and facing... No, that's not the right block, that's the right block. Like so, thank you. Right. And then I'm hoping. Oh, before we do that, I need to disconnect my gamepad yet again. And so, for those that don't know, I'm going to keep mentioning this because it is a bit. I don't know if it's a bug um, as such, but it's it's weird behavior. When you have a gamepad connected, you can't click those buttons. Everything else works. But the buttons for OK and browse scripts in the programmable block, or the code editor, let's say, they just don't work. Right, you click on them, you hear a click, but nothing's happening. So, you know, just to keep you aware, just pull your gamepad when you're playing, it doesn't make a difference. Come on. Um, where is it? Solar alignment. Right, and then we'll just double click it. Solar group. No, 
not needed in gyro mode. We're not using gyro mode. Use gyro mode fault, solar reference. Oh, we need to uh, name our cockpit. So that's fine. Um, so, but all the solar related rotors not needed in gyro mode. And we'll just call it an intrude solar. Right, that's, that's the group. Okay. Um, so if we take those... Of course I haven't done that, right? Right, so if we've done that, and that, and then... True solar... I don't know if that's going to work or not. Yeah. Okay. Now that's obviously not going to work itself because, well, guess what? There's nothing. There's no solar attached. I oh, we can take these off. I know I need to face that way. Uh, face that way. So all we need to do is just go and attach a block there, and then go. No. Go like so. Oh. And we can take those away. Yep. And then one goes there. And one goes there, and then essentially all I would need to do now is put solar on here. Like, literally just find a good position. Like so. And yeah, that, that was my hope to do something exactly like that. most awesome thing. Uh, are we gonna help it? We may actually be out. No, it seems fine. I thought we were maybe out building range, but no, building range seems fine. But we're gonna help it anyways. Makes it a bit quicker. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, that's done. So just missing a few things here and there. That steel plate done up. Uh, okay, okay, so... I feel like I want to cheat... Um, what you call it? This guy. Just so we can see what happens when we go and... Oh, I want to try and see if it's actually doing the thing or not. Are they rotor locked? Right, I, I can see the hinges doing something. question is, is, is the rotors on top of that going to do their thing? Uh, breaking torque. Which part specifically, Buckley? Like, I have a lot of moving parts here. <laughs> um, I'll probably on the true solar... Um, Yeah, that's need breaking torque. So let's let's go on. Okay, we need. Oh, whoa, whoa, okay, yeah. Big thing. Share our tensors, yeah. But no, it looks like it's doing it. On 
bottom end so when you lower them back down they don't fall right okay okay so yeah thank you Buckley um I was just asking because you were saying about um might to need to increase the breaking torque it's actually not up there that we need to worry about um we have the solar hinges themselves they will also need a breaking torque and we're gonna just go and ramp that up just up there somewhere right just to make sure that because we have got a lot of weight attached to that they're not going to just drop down to the ground but yeah look at this right this i like now we just need to teach it to fully fold in right because if i now do my time up lock well things will go wrong because at the moment the solar panels are obviously trying to track Oh. But I like this already. I'll, I'll like where this is going. And just to keep it a little bit more interesting for you, all of you watching, we're going to break off from this particular part for now. Okay. Um, like, I, I feel we're getting really close to where I want to be with this construction. So Terence says the way I've wanted this wanted this to work is really that those two here, the hinge and that rotor on both sides, that they are the ones actually doing the solar tracking, right? None of the bottom construction will ever be involved in that. They're just the base to get us up, up from the ground. Um and then I would basically think about a timer block, possibly something to lock those back into a parking position if you will um i'm almost tempted to say um and sort of my fault here i i should have left those bars alone um so let's go and grab those groups again <clears throat> give me the solar hinge first Gonna do an experiment here. Solar hinge. There's the master solar pistons. Um, reverse them. And we need the solar rotors to reverse. Then we need the <coughs> solar fold. That's the guy. Solar fold um, gets reversed. And then last but not least is the solar up. Right, and that gets reversed. So let me. Oh, what's this? Settings, guys. Um. Yeah, no, it's fine. Might need to have the timer set the limits and then lock them. That's exactly the idea here, Tars. Is that when I go and do things to park it that the panels will actually be going back into their neutral position if, as it were because so and this is what i was trying to want wanting to try this out what would happen if we just reversed say this guy first so you would come down then you're going out And this is more from my own visualization. Although, yeah, solar scripts obviously can't try and keep that updated, so that's not. We, we, we can't work that way, isn't it? Which is fine. Um, let him just do his thing, come pull it back out. We're gonna need. I think. One timer block. Hoping I can get away with one timer lock, uh, a timer block. Wait, what? Holy! Thank you, Buckley. What on earth, built and repair? Look like, seriously, it's literally just chopped a leg off. 
completely missed that. Like, but why? Okay, uh, piston. That piston head. Just, yeah, it's completely took the whole thing off. Holy cannoli, that's a bit unusual, let's see. And that's not going to be able to place, right? Just because that's my usual lock. Yep. Well, just as well, this is a station at the moment, and we can cheat a bit. Uh, pull you in. Nine in there. Go on. Yeah, it could well be, it could well be that when I summon Clang, we've rammed right into that landing gear. Which wouldn't surprise me, to be honest. It was a fairly <laughs> violent incident. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I know this looks all really weird. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to unstation this whole thing. This this is gonna get awfully clangy, I think. Nothing here seems right. Oh, yes, thank you, Tarsus. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I keep forgetting this guy. Uh, one of yous. Yep, you. Ah. Uh, unlocked. Unlock them all. Yeet. I just clanged something. Something clanged just badly. Like, really badly. Yeah, I ripped another leg off. This is going well, isn't it? Ah. <laughs> okay, there's a clone counter going up. Clone number four. Uh, uh, no point looking for the body. Uh, I'm, I'm sure there's no point looking for the body because... Yeah, Tarsus, I forgot everything in that setup. I, I realize and that's why things just went terribly, terribly wrong there. Uh, Better welder, better grinder, better drill, and three bottles, well, four, solid. I mean, oh, good grief, how am I going to fix this now? Because um, you're not letting me put a landing gear on here, aren't you? No. Okay, so... The piston should be fine. Info converter station. We're going to pull those guys in. Put that landing gear on there. Put that landing gear on there, I say. 
I, and I need, of course I didn't bring a steel plate. Because why would I? I mean, I'm, I'm trying to build something, but why would I need steel plate for that? Did I? Oh, for goodness sakes. Yeah, I just grabbed a thousand steel plate. I, mean, I, I don't even know why, but I did. Dear space engineers, you can be so frustrating at times. Yeah, go and, go and build that up, thank you. Are we done? We're done. Right, next. Get this trying to lock, lock back into ground. Alright, okay, landing gear. No, not auto lock, please. Make sure they're all fine, then landing gear. Oh, that's those, that's not them, it's the landing gear feet that are in that group. Yes. <clears throat> now I can bring them back out. They're not auto-locking, right? So that once we see the green, we should be okay to convert it back if we wanted to. Which I'm going to try. So I feel like we've ripped half the ship apart for no reason. Other than me being an idiot. Um, okay, okay, okay. That's fine. It's it's settled. It's It's doing the thing. And then I could say lock it into place right and then we could hopefully convert to station and we're fine okay next fixing solar well it's not so much fixing now we need to be very rigorous on how we set this up so we can fold it completely away um i want that there i feel like no but um Trying to, oh, oh, I've actually got a good space for that. Yes, yes, yes. <coughs> so, what was it? Uh, we want a timer block. <clears throat> and, of course. Okay. I, I, I didn't just read that. I'm just going to ignore it. There we go. Um, so, now I need to, for myself, I need to understand how that works. Um, there's going to be the first action would actually be... Uh, and well, So we're going to need two actions, do we? Probably switch states when we unfold, so I'm, I'm going to work with that later. Um, for now, this hinge, no, the first action that we need, okay, okay. Okay, let me see, um, set up actions. The very first action is going to be to turn this programmable block off. Right, that, that's the first, because otherwise the, the, the solar script will always try and override whatever we're doing then in the group of the say true solar azimuth Please reset touch detach reverse at share natural tensors Show how, huh? Okay, I'm maybe I'm missing something, but there doesn't seem to be an odd an option to set a particular value on a hinge. Oh, sorry, on a rotor in this case. What about you? Add 
Okay, we'll use the detachment. I mean, you can reset values. Increase, but not many. The only one I can reset is the velocity. Huh. How would that work? Because what we would need is to be able to set limits, put a very specific limit, put a very specific specific value. Um, hmm. Okay, uh, there must be something I'm missing here, maybe. Um, but I feel like I'm missing some... He has some ability to actually set values very specifically for parts. Like, I don't... Because otherwise we would need that many inner blocks to, like, repeat that same action over again and... Um, okay, let me try something here for just a second, just for my own understanding. <clears throat> right, this this guy is now aligned. So what happens if we said, "Don't undo the series of actions that falls in non-line, or oh, falls out in this case?" Right. You could then go this way, and we're turning that rotor around bring that in and then fold it to that direction oh it's not even symmetrical uh, uh. That's gonna have to obviously get fixed. No, no, no. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna have to think about that one. Because I feel... I feel it's sort of halfway there, or like three quarters of the way, but I can't see a way of telling a timer block. You know, set. I'm working. Decrease. So what are you trying to do? Basically, I would need to set these limits to a very specific value, but it doesn't do that. It only says increase and decrease, and the way a timer block works. Sorry, guys. Uh, my wife's actually trying to help me here. <laughs> trying, <laughs> trying to see if she can see something that I'm missing. So the way a timer block works, right? Uh huh. Um, let me go and find this guy here. way a time block works you basically just give it things to do and it just starts to do them one after the other okay right that's all uh -huh. the time block can do now i'm trying to set up this guy right mm -hmm. up here these two or true solar hinge and true solar rotor i want them to be set to very specific values i want them to so I'll park i want them to park in a position i can fold the thing in Right. All right. So Buckley is actually already sort of saying to me here that we don't believe that there's a way to make that return to a sort of fixed position. Well, so our panels move with the sun anyway. Well, only when you tell them to. Like I have a whole thing here. This is a program that actually runs uh -huh. to align with them. Mm -hmm. 
But okay, so we're gonna have to. It's a sort of toss up here. Um. Um. So we're gonna see how far I would fold, be able to fold this in. Like, let, me, let me try that. That's the wrong rotation. Um, let me try this guy first. We can bring it in. Um, trying to find sort of a parking position that would still allow us to yeah, fold them in that way. And come in and then I think there's always going to be that element of we can either have it interactive in terms of aligning to the sun or we can have it neat in terms of wanting to be able to fold in because I can see right now yeah Tarsus I think I'm actually gonna go in that direction so Tars is already sort of hinting at the opportunity of maybe making a script, right? Um, I am somewhat fluent in C-sharp, so I, I can certainly look into that. Um, that's going to be something for another episode, for sure. Um, but I, I do like this whole idea. I, I like this, you know, this approach of being able to say, hey, we have this whole sort of solar array. That essentially unfolds itself when we've landed somewhere and then really the script would be very very straightforward because all you would do is basically just ensure that you're setting certain values and I think we're going the wrong way here with something um, there's a hinge that I'm missing no, it's not that one, is it? This guy. No, that's it. Come up, right. I feel like I've done one of those wrong or forgot to do it. It's this guy. You can set up along the limits in the control panel and then once the movement is complete it would need to you would need to unlock the limit yeah so unscripted it's going to be almost impossible to do what i would specifically want so we're going to need a script for that sort of thing which you know nothing wrong with that Who, who's moving all oh, right okay that, that's actually solar script doing its thing right um so yeah, we're gonna need a script for that particular part, which is fine. Again, you know, something for a future episode. We're gonna leave that to do its thing. Um, let's think about what this base also is going to need. Right, there, there is a few requirements I personally have um, that are absolutely essential. We would need at least a refinery, an assembler, a maybe just a survival kit possibly a medical bay um but there's another thing i would like to be able and that's going to be sort of my next project for this monster i would like to be able to drill down right i would like to be able to land somewhere and say okay we need new starter resources and we're going to obviously get them from stone if we're not having direct access. Um, and I would like something that sort of comes down and, yeah, drills into the ground and we can start building. I feel this right here. This right here is the block. I'm going to try it. No, it is not. That was not the block. This is not the block you're looking for. That one goes back in. 
but yeah so the idea really um i should be able to just come all the way up here Boom. there we go like that come up um have a trying to think here um Stick that there. Right. Um, and right on the top of that, I would like. Oh, okay. The industrial doesn't have that. But that one does. Yeah, that's fine. Then we'll place this guy. Like so up. Yeah, like so. That's it. Big friggin' cargo container. And that connects to that bottom. Um, and then we would need... Um, I'm hoping I can get away with this guy. Mm, not too long. Not what I would want. Nope. No, 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 no. Um, now I need to think this is the right way. I lost the top piston part. Perfect. Um, <clears throat> now let's go and just bring you out. 0.5. Ah, uh, of course. Of course you are going to do that. Attached itself somewhere. Uh, let build the up. I don't care. There we go. No, still attached. All right. I mean, maybe because it's not built. Oh. Right, no, it does come on. Okay, right. Boom, 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 boom. And the light's off again. Why? Because I'm an idiot, of course. Um, yeah, come out. Um, and then the next part is a fairly obvious... Ah, uh, wait. Is that going to be enough? No. I'm going to need two of those. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I need two of those uh, correctly aligned, like so. Right. Get that welded up as much as we can in here. Then build and repair will do that thing for us. Um, and then I need to go and uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, leave you there. You want to attach a rotor? I can find it. I know I'll have it. There we go. Something like. Where is that zero? Why not? Are we in the. Oh, okay. Okay. If that's what you think we're doing, then that's. Let's fix that. Sit down. Okay, um, now I know the landing gear is those pistons. And we have somewhere we have one by one piston. Oh crud. Are those the only ones left? No, that's left, right. Um, this is one, this one's fully extended, right? So we call this piston. Go one, and I think, just by the looks of it, this would be piston drill two. Also, share inertia tensors, tensors, please. Um, I didn't group them up though, did I? Um. Pistons. Safe. 
let's see here. Um, give me a group drill pistons. <coughs> uh, reverse. Right, go back because we know one of them is fully extended, so let's go and reverse that for a second. And yeah, it was the right one now, so like there. Uh, what did I do wrong there? Mm. I have a feeling. Yeah, uh, no, not that one, that one. So, yeah. Pistons are sometimes a little bit funky that way. They, 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 they like to attach to a lot of things. Ah, oh, and I just ripped off. Do you build and repair? Just go and do your thing. Um, that needs to go. <coughs> Right, then I need to go and attach another piston head here, please. That we can now go and build up. Okay. And because I, I don't know, maybe. All right, so this is coming out no problem. Again, five piston. Uh, yeah, that looks about right. <coughs> right. Let's try that again. Mm, wrong direction. Uh, yes, punch. Uh, sit down. Okay. All the drill pistons. Piston drill two. And the drill pistons like so save. Uh, so need to do that. Um and then last but not least need to reverse him. Oh, that's a motor block. The one by one piston. So, yeah, this is what we want to see. Nice. Um, now, hopefully... Uh, no, sit down. No. Excuse me, six is... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm an idiot about it. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing to remember, Buckley. It's a mod. It's, you didn't miss anything. Uh, drill pistons, uh, reverse. Let's see what happens when we do that. That looks good. And can pull it back in. Great. Can we? Now I wonder how that would work. I have no clue. Let's so let's try it. One there. One there. One there and one there. Now that they're fully extended, it shouldn't, like, I, I don't see why it should weld together. Right? Let's see. Can we try that? Um, put that together. Not at all. The steel plate in, but this should now be fully movable, and I should be able to retract it. Oh. 
Um, let's see here. There. Looking good so far. Coming in. Oh, it's done it again. Sure of it. Yeah, it won't let me go all the way in. Because of those blocks. But we can work with that, actually. Oh, ow. We, we can. Um, may not seem like it, but we can do a thing. Cut those away. Right, on all four sides. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I just need to know I'll go and find the right block here. do this with slopes like so like so put one there put one there and then turn this one and then I would just go and take these off and we'll just find the blocks that sort of close the corners off nicely make sense and then hopefully we should see that we can fully retract this. Alright, so let's see what... And I'm really bad with this particular part of building things, so bear with me. Oh yeah, there it is. That, that looks about right. <clears throat> and then I think... we just turn it. So, try and build this up. And if I'm not totally mistaken, this should be enough to allow us to withdraw the whole thing in. Let's see. Uh, camera still fine. Yeah, go and pull that thing in. And it should really be flush. Yeah. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. Although, uh, I didn't do that deep enough. I, I need... Uh, because the idea is, realistically, that the whole ship should sort of fold in on itself as much as possible. And this is not it. This is not... This is not the thing I'm looking for, really. I mean... It could be, but no. I, I, I don't... I already don't, I already don't like it. See, uh, take that top piston part back off again, take that whole piston away. Because realistically I would have to move that block away as well. Just quickly get rid of that. What do you mean converter ship? I didn't try. That was a bit weird. Um Okay, let me try something else in terms of ideas. I have a... We can do it maybe sideways, like come on from the back. Like... I need a few more support blocks here. Um, so otherwise the whole solar thing will come down around me. I don't want that. So if we will do this upright... Oh. I'm 
そう。うん、どうぞ。うん、うん、うん、うん。どうぞ。うん、どうぞ。うん、どうぞ。うん、どうぞ。うん、どうぞ。Together, nice.、Um, bring that together and then take that one out, I'm hoping. Please don't fall, please don't fall, please don't fall. Yes. Yes. And then come through with a conveyor port here. No, you know, even just this guy for now. Just junction. And yeah, yeah, built and repair can just do the thing there.、Um, and then essentially, have it. Yeah, have it come out here and down. <clears throat> so basically, say. Um. Yeah. Slight change. Two seconds. Put that on top of there because then I can put the piston, hopefully, in out like so. Right. And let me guess you've clanged yourself in here. No, oh, no, we're free. Okay, cool. So then you come out, yes. There, that's fine. You come out. Then we're going down. And I'm just going to use that guy. Right. Stick out one. And then do a whole sort of piston thing here. And we can use a standard piston for that. Maybe two? No. No, I need to wait for that pop this to pop the build. Right, and then do the. Lastly. Yeah, I'm almost. Not happy. So, taking things.、Mm. Yeah, no, but not, we're, we're doing the one by one by one. So, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Drop it all, don't care. Yeah, one goes there. Attach there and go on this together as much as we can. And then just. Put another one of those straight on here. Yep. Okay. And then we're going to do a thing where this is. Uh. Drill extend. Okay, whoop, wrong button. And then this is drilled on one, drilled on two. Oh. Alright, and then this is, what did I say, drilled on two? Alright, and then drilled down one and two are drilled. Down, save. They are sharing the inertia tensors and they are moving at point one. Right. This guy can just do what it's supposed to be doing at that rate, which is fine. Next rotor. Put a rotor on this. I can find one. There it is. Nine. Um, 
Yes. Yes, yes, I think. Well, that seems about right. Okay, let's go and get this welded up. True. Nice. And then I should be able to just... Yeah. And so when we're not going to get away with a perfectly smooth build in terms of being able to completely withdraw the thing. I just... I don't think that's going to happen, right? Just... I think we're going to be happy with this, to be honest. Um... Yeah, bring it out the full width of the ship. One, two. Three. Six. And four. Yeah, that's gonna be quite a lot of resource put together there. But actually, we can help. We can really help with that one. Let's take all these parts. There we go. Stick it in there. Um, and go. Yeah. See, they are getting built up nice. So the components are just going to come through the, from the base. Okay. Nice. So that's that. And then we're going to just name this guy as well. Advanced Rotor Drill. Well, so that's Drill Extend and Drill Down. Okay. So let's go and get a bit of camera view here. A camera view. Thank you. Um... And then we would basically need a few groupings again. So I'm going to do this thing. Name them all drill, please. And we're going to put them in a group called drills. Then drill extend is one thing, but drill down is a group. Okay, and save. Right, then G for the quick bar setup. And the first group would be the drills to just go and toggle block on off. Then, um, where's the drill down is the other one that then needs a reverse. And last but not least, is a. Where is it? not a group it's a normal block drill extent and reverse <clears throat> nice I mean so a script is doing its thing which is fine you know um, so let's see what happens if we hit seven that should just come in Okay, that's nice, and then I can go and turn name on. And then more to the point, we could then basically, once we've done that, we would hit eight and they would come down and get materials for us. 
noise. Perfect. So bring you in. Don't need you right there at the moment. Um, I'm not going to try that rotation out at the moment. I, I feel like I don't want to dig another big hole in the grin just here. Right. So let's think about what our next bits are. And this is not going to be a super fast ship, like in terms of producing resources. Okay. I don't need it to be. I, I just need it to be able to do it. And what I'm thinking try and see here i know there's a there's a pod right there why not because steel plate uh steel plate let's go um so something like this and then say like so um that's the refinery and then the assembler let's see what we can do there do something like for example said assembler make you like so i'm just gonna plonk along there right does that make sense I'll put as much of this together as i can um, okay, more resources, so what is it you need, and you need things, which is fine, I don't mind, I have many things, we have a whole base of things. Perfect. Stick all that in there. Missing a few computers and then we'll pick them up in the next run. And stick whatever we have in here. There we go. I'm gonna have to hydrate guys. Of course, more steel plate. Yeah, always more steel plate. Steel plate. Never enough of it. Um, I would like everyone. I like to thank everyone that has attended so far. It's really well appreciated, and it's it's actually humbling. I'll be honest. Um, more computers. And I have a feeling, just a very dark and sinister feeling that we've run out of, uh, run and ran out of iron again. But we'll see. We'll we'll see what. I just something is telling me I have more computers. But no, no stuff has been made. I can I can hear it in the background. That's fine. I'll get this together, and then obviously we'll need to connect that um for now because interior plate this time at least it's not steel plate oh, for goodness sakes. <laughs> why not why why can i not pull this through oh, because it's in the, stuck in my connector ah I've done a thing. And we'll go and fix the thing in a second. Boom, boom. Right. So let's go and fix that thing. Because that, that, that was that was a that was a meeting. Anyway, um in one of these connectors that is not in you Where did we get uranium from? I just seen it flash and pass. It must have been from the unknown signal that we picked up. Um, yeah, yeah, I don't think the connector won't let it through because we've got a sorter that says no. Um, but that's fine. 
pull all this back into its inventory. I mean, push. And while we're at it, show me my bottles, please. We're getting rid of empties, and I have a <coughs> full one sitting right there. Nice. Okay. So now this base. No, not, not quite. More computers. But essentially this mobile base, and that, that's, that was sort of the whole point, is able to land somewhere, extend the drill rig out, you know, and it'll go... Basically, yeah, we, we can refine it, we can work with it straight away on the base. Um, so I, I like that already as an approach, right? Get this finished off, please. Right, and, and this is not going to be the last of what we're building on this base, on this mobile base, let's say. Um, because we're wanting to also deal with hydrogen. You know, I, I need we need to be able to deal with that and, and dispose of it. Or not, not dispose, but break ice down and, you know, all that stuff. Um, Oh, yes, the Clang Summoner might have had that. Well, in that case... Where did this happen? This must have also happened when I summoned Clang. Oh my goodness. Um, but in that case, because they are in ill-gotten gains... 40k? Yeah, that's, that's a lot of uranium. Oh. Nickel can stay. Um, it's just more of it. Um, there we go. Because, as I say, they're ill gotten gains. I don't want it. I don't need it. And we're just going to go over here and just dump it into the into the world. Wee. And that way. Built and repair, it's not gonna pick it up, and it is not, yeah, it is not rightfully ours until I have found uranium and actually can build reactors and construct coins, really. Please fix. Um, anyways, I, I feel we're getting quite well on with this base, so what was I talking about? We were talking about breaking down ice and, you know, the whole hydrogen thing. Let me see, um, have I, I haven't seriously really dealt with any of this, of this. I've, I've got the tanks, um, oxygen. Farm the hydroponics farms. Uh, hydroponics farms produce small amounts of oxygen when in contact with sunlight. Okay, use an oxygen tank to restore uh, to store that oxygen. This is not going to do us so. Um, the survivor kit. No. So there's the hydrogen engine, but none of that is really helping because. Um, I feel like I'm missing something here. In my in my mind, I'm, I'm there, there is something I'm not. Hydrogen. That's a tank. That's the thrusters for it. Oh right, okay. No, it's it is my thing. Um, we forgot one of these guys. Um, let's see, I don't even have a free a hot bar slot for that. Good grief. Well, there's a six hot bar make getting made. Um, um you know what? <clears throat> I think we're actually in a really good position, right? Uh, I'm gonna have a think on what else what I want on here. But this is this is gonna be a thing. We're gonna have a H2O2 uh, gen. For sure. And I don't actually care about power. So we're gonna do this. Okay, let's 
stupid. Um, but I, I'm thinking of calling it basically. Um, I feel actually quite drained after this. It's been quite a good stream. We've gone, been going on now three hours now. Um, but yeah, so extension for the for this mobile base is going to be H2 generation and storage. Um, yeah, but you know, and then get a projector set up, get a blueprint made, things like that. Ow, ow, ow. Can we just go and grab everything? No, oh, that's great, thank you. Um, and so I would, what I would basically think of doing just this, right? So, get it put together. And then the H2 or the ice can just run through it. And just bring it up on a curved tube there and a curved tube there, right back into it, and then have the tank sort of here on the side, right? Anyways, honestly, I feel guys, I feel drained. Um, would like to thank everyone again for watching, for being there, for giving me advice, for helping out, all that good stuff. Um, yeah. Until next time, please leave a like and subscribe if you've liked the comment. And if you've got any questions or you would like to leave a comment, leave it down in the doobly-doo. That's what it's there for. Also, check out my Discord. There's a link either in my About section. There's also a link out to it in my Twitter page. So just go and have a look. And yeah, I've really enjoyed this, guys. So thanks again. And peace out.